check. Check. So actually for this year, as I mentioned uh, to you guys, I'm gonna change things up a bit. And uh, now we're gonna have a new segment here in the channel and I call it Tech Day. And uh, you know, it's a uh, Tech Day and I'm gonna review some other tech stuff um, other than audio stuff. And that's uh, super interesting because of course I do love, um, you know, tech and gadgets all together. And we actually see something here in our video. And uh, actually this is the Cinco Mic M1. And uh, it's, uh, you know, an on-camera mic. And uh, it's around $30, you know, very cheap for something like this. It's competing, you know, head to head with the Rode Video Micro or the Boya MM1. And uh, of course, with the Dead Cat also, they both have Dead Cats. We're gonna check this out and how does it compare with the, you know, the more expensive brother. This is around, uh, you know, $70 to $100. This is just around $30. How does it compare? And is this worth it for $30? We're gonna find out in this video. Of course, I'm gonna record uh, this whole video with the Mic M1. So you guys, you know, can have uh, an idea on how this sounds like, you know, in real life use and studio use. All right, so let's take a look at some specs. It says a mic M1, on-camera microphone, ideal for filming live broadcast and interview, 3.5 millimeter TRS and TRRS connector. You have a cardioid directivity, um, frequency response, shock mount, electric uh, condenser, um, camera phone, and uh, yes, uh, this is what is included in the box. So if you have, uh, you know, the mic M1, you have the shock mount, um, specialized windshield or your dead cat, um, leather pouch, which is nice, cotton wind muff, and uh, phone cable, and uh, a camera cable. So you have two cables included, which is very nice. So this is what the leather pouch looks like. So it's nice that you have, you know, this kind of leather pouch. You know, that is, uh, uh, the video micro doesn't have this pouch, which is, uh, you know, an advantage. You have two cables included. Of course, one is TRS and one is TRRS. That's nice that you have, you know, two options. And of course, you have the dead cat also. And as you can see, guys, here, you have the shock mount. So the shock mount is actually black in color, which is nice in terms of the overall dimensions. It is very similar compared to um, the Rode Video Micro. But uh, what's good with the um, MM1 is uh, you have black and black in color. So that's definitely an advantage uh, because, uh, you know, sometimes you want to vlog and you don't um, want to look like a vlogger and having an all black, you know, stealthy kind of design is definitely an advantage. So actually for the Dead Cat, it's very, very similar to the road. Actually, it's very hard to tell them from each other. If you put them side by side, they have a similar um, texture altogether. For the mic itself, the Cinco is uh, more minimalist in terms of the overall design. Um, the Cinco actually has some cage at the front, which is very nice. Actually, I do like to have a cage in front uh, because, you know, that will be uh, more protective of the overall mic uh, compared to the Rode Video Micro. As you can see also from my Rode Video Micro, it's a bit scuffed already because I really use the Rode Video Micro for vlogging on the go. Also, what's uh, good with the MM1 is that uh, you can adjust um, the shock mount so depending on um, if you're using a wider lens maybe you can have the Cinco a bit back um, so uh, the mic won't interfere with the shot or maybe if you're using the viewfinder uh, while using the mic you can put the mic more forward so it won't hit your forehead so it's nice that you can adjust it uh, but uh, indeed, um, the Senko is a little bit um, bigger compared to the Rode Video Micro. So whether you like that or not, that would be kind of up to you. Uh, but I do like the overall uh, minimalist kind of design. Right now, let's have a mic test of the MM1 versus uh, my studio mic and also versus um, the Rode Video Micro. Now, this is the Rode Video Micro 3.5mm TRS and TRRS connector. For camera, camcorder, audio recorder, smartphone, and other audio video recording devices, ideal for filming, live broadcast, and interview. So this is the Mic M1 3.5mm TRS and TRRS connector. For camera, camcorder, audio recorder, smartphone, and other audio video recording devices, ideal for filming, live broadcast, and interview. Now this is my studio mic. 3.5 mm TRS and TRRS connector for camera, camcorder, audio recorder, smartphone, and other audio video recording devices. Ideal for filming, live broadcast, and interview. For camera, camcorder, audio recorder. For camera, camcorder, audio recorder, smartphone, and other audio video recording. The smartphone and other audio video 
Right, let me know down below guys what you prefer. Do you like the video micro or do you like the Cinco M1? I actually listened to both of them and uh, I did like of course the video micro. The voice is more full. The voice sounds more right in the video micro. For the mic M1, there's not a lot of bass and uh, the voice sounds a bit thin for me. Um, it's understandable with the M1 but definitely it's less full. Sounds less of a condenser, uh, more of a lab mic uh, with the M1. So I, frankly, I prefer uh, the video micro over the Cinco. Alright, so for the Cinco M1, it's kind of like a love and hate thing for me. I do like the overall look. You know, the black um, shock mount is nice for me. Um, a little bit more compact, uh, which is nice and uh, more minimalist in terms of design. Um, however, in terms of sound, um, it's not as full for me uh, compared to, you know, the video micro. Of course, it's more expensive in the video micro. Uh, but I did expect more from the Cinco M1. So um, it's usable, yes. Uh, but uh, of course, for me personally, I will save up more uh, for the video micro for my daily needs. Because, uh, you know, especially in YouTube, uh, mic is really, really, really important. Um, I do invest in audio. I'm an audio guy. You know, I do invest in audio. So for me personally, it's a bit lacking for me in the audio Part. Actually, if you're gonna buy the Cinco M1, uh, you might want to do some EQing to get you know the uh, mic sound right. Um, there's a chance that you can do that, but uh, you know I wouldn't um, count on it. I will go straight for the video micro on these more than the Cinco MM1. Does look good though, but uh, you know sound is more important for me compared to the overall look. That is my review of the Cinco Mic M1. So I wanted to like this, uh, but uh, unfortunately didn't like it. Of course, if you learn something, leave a like and subscribe for more content like this in the future. What other tech stuff do you want me to check out? Um, let me know down in the comments also down below. I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.